man. I don't know why I'm feeling more air than usual. So I think I uh, kind of messed up my bike, guys. I mean, I know it's still running and all, but I had uh, switched out the clutch lever and the brake lever, as you can see. And um, there's a box, there's a little ECU box right below the uh, clutch lever and a little fire pin looking white stick that uh, pushes up on the lever. And for some reason, when I was putting on the clutch lever right over here, it, um, it snapped. So I got on my bike and I drove around my apartment complex and everything worked, like the clutch worked, the brakes work. I have no idea what that is. I contacted two different Kawasaki dealerships and um, you know, they both couldn't give me a, a good answer without looking at it. So, so I'm driving over right now to Grapevine Power Sports where I bought the bike to see if they could give me a little bit more uh, clarity on. It looks like a electronic or some type of electronic box. But, um, all my stuff works, all my electronics work. My signals, uh, my brake lights, everything, they'll work. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I'm hoping to get some answers without having to pay for it. But we shall see what happens. I'm not trying to pass up any cars. I'm trying to go too fast because I just don't want the risk. Whatever's going on with my bike. You know, to put me in danger in the roadway. Damn, that could have been bad. A big old log right. A big old two by four right on the fucking highway. there's one there should always be another one somewhere someone doesn't just carry one two by four hopefully it's not here in the service room so I was supposed to do a video on um, on how to install these uh, levers and after about halfway down there I was like fuck it and I just worked on it because I was having so much trouble with the clutch lever and the east and the little box right below it. It was like getting in the way. You couldn't. It's a 10 millimeter bolt, but I need a thinner socket or something because that shit was having a hard time fitting in there. It was annoying the hell out of me, so I was like, F it. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna put it on and show yo. I had the levers for a while now and I just got tired of waiting. I just wanted to put it on. I know I haven't uh I know I missed last week. It was the it's the first week since I started motovlogging that I've actually missed a week to post a video. And I just been crazy busy with family stuff. Hope y'all can understand that. I had some ideas but some of the plans and everything like that fell through so um, I wasn't able to make the videos that I wanted to make I haven't been back here since I got it uh, it's first service back at 600 miles oh they opened the new boomer jacks I love that place my very first bike ride with my friends we went down to boomer jacks and they went to a bike night at uh, in Plano and there's a Boomer Jacks uh, somewhere near Plano on the east side of Plano and I didn't know they were opening up a Boomer Jacks here in Grapevine that's fucking awesome forgot what this place used to be Boomer Jacks Grill and Bar look at those Jeeps I'm definitely gonna check it out one day.
Oh, Ninja 650, Z125. Is that an old model ZX10R or ZX6R? Ooh, that is nice. I'll just park it right over here. So, talk to the service manager and good news. It's not really that important. It's he says it's a switch that senses whether the clutch is engaged or not um, so when you're starting the bike you know if you're if, if you don't have the clutch on and you're in first gear you won't start so it depends on where it was last at or anything like that so I want to say okay right now I'm in neutral kickstands down let me go to first go to first uh, okay I'm first the clutch isn't engaged yeah see it won't even start it'll just stall so that's what it's there for which isn't a big deal my concern was that oh. <laughs> My concern was, will it kill me? And that won't kill me. I don't think so. Ugh. So as you can see, I got the shorty clutch lever. I got the shorty brake lever. X, I will be putting in a ram mount that I just got as well. And we'll be learning how to mess with that. An airplane flying close. What the hell is it landing on the Great Wolf Lodge or something? Look at that. Is it landing in a damn hotel? Shit, it's way too close. I'm just playing, guys. The airport is literally right around the corner. I'm just saying it's pretty close. Rolling by that hotel. I think I'm gonna retire this helmet. What a brand new helmet. It doesn't have the motor block set up yet. But it just feels way better. I mean, you can tell. I mean, I spent almost triple the amount that I spent on that helmet than I spent on this. You really get what your money pays for when it comes to these things. On the other helmet, I feel no wind. I feel great ventilation. If I do feel a breeze, it's, it's not like loud screeching breeze that I'm hearing right now on my damn helmet. Gas, gas, gas. Let's get some gas. Get some gas up in this. 296 for premium. What y'all think about that little ring for the for the tank bags? I know a lot of people been getting it. I'm thinking about getting one myself. Think about getting a tank bag so I don't need to carry this backpack with me all the time. I wish I had a discount code. Let me get some of that preems. Damn, I ran her dry as shit. Let's see how much she's gonna take. No, I don't want to quench my thirst with a fine drink today. 734. Uh -huh. Two gallons, 2.4 gallons. That's good enough, I think. I just think I can fit back in her. I gotta get used to this clutch though, because I'm like jerking. Like it's got a. It's shorter to get to that, to that uh, release, so I feel like I'm. It feels like I'm um, like jerking every single time I hit this clutch. Definitely gotta get used to it. Unless I just clutch up and not use my uh, and not clutch, you know, clutchless shift. Just ain't it bad going up. I'm gonna try 
tire right here. Hey, I just clutched that shift right there. That was that was that wasn't that bad. It was smooth. Oh, uh, look at up. Oh, I can't be behind this. Oh, I can't be behind this freaking garbage truck. It's got shit splashing all over the place. Oh, that shit is nasty. Anyways, y'all, that's it for uh, this ride. I just wanted to kind of keep you updated why I haven't been posting and why I haven't. I didn't post a video last week. I hope you all enjoyed this ride just like I did, and I hope you didn't uh, get scared as much as I did <laughs> when uh, it came to that clutch and, and uh, that little fire pin looking thingy. But till next time, guys, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. I am Remoto. Make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can see the latest of what's going on and to see new pictures that I've just posted. And I will see you next time. Peace.